Wow, this is a hater. That's a real hater uh, title. Uh, it looks like Cornejo, you know, has no respects. We have 21 minutes on the clock. Uh, Miracles is up one game. Okay. Uh, looks like AK has a red blast on the mulligan. Uh, Miracles has a red blast and a top is what it looks like, or is that a plow? It go top and plow, it looks like. It's hard to tell. All right, another red blast, counter spells, uh, snapcaster. I think those are all good cards in this matchup. Seem good. It depends on how many lands are in his hand. Yeah, I would expect Sam to keep at least a couple. Uh, Sam. I am not a judge. Uh, I was an L2, uh, but I lapsed about a year ago. I just found real life was taking too much time, and I would rather play Magic. Play Magic is fun. It is. I have an awesome balanced playmat from the uh, the awesome L2 gift program, but I feel bad playing on it because I'm not a judge. Uh, I'm a little surprised to see swords and terminus left in PJ's deck. What do you think I about think, that? I think you want one or the. I definitely like terminus. I don't think I like swords. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Like mentor. Uh, is not so scary when you can clean it up for just one card. Like, I have a source of posture or not uh, uh, spring verdict in my board. Uh, that's a snap bring in. Sure. Um, All of the red blasts probably should get in there. Yeah. Um, especially if you've seen AK. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So Sam got to leave up counterspell and then play AK end of turn. That's a combo. This is a well designed deck. If I don't, sure. if I do say so myself. He is down a game. Uh. I mean, are you trying to use the scoreboard argument here? Because that's not going to fly. And he just brainstormed it in the lands. Well, that's not good. Uh, he probably should try to find lands. I mean, that would be ideal. <laughs> he did mulligan, though. Yeah. You have to keep that in mind. Sure. You know what would really good there? What's that? Any accumulated knowledge. You're right. It would have been. That's a good way to recover from mulligan. Accumulated knowledge. Oh, that's true. Brian says... We they might not know yet what um, Sam's on. It's only been one game. We don't know what we've seen. Yeah, fair enough. You've seen blue enough to bring in the blasts. So he might not have seen the mentors? Or maybe he did see the mentors but not the AKs? Maybe he thinks he's playing Pyromancer or something? Yeah, could be. I think Sam is in a good position as long as he can find some more lands. Like, he's got a lot of good spells in his hand. Yeah, but he's brainstorm locked. Well, I understand that, but he's got a lot of good spells in his hand. Yeah. And he can play defense until he gets unbrainstorm locked. He's got Red Blast, Counterspell, he's got Wear Terror. Not that he can guess the relevant part of Wear Terror, which is the Disenchant, Demystify. Yeah. I would not Red Blast this. What do you think? Nope. Little bit of a timing tell there. You know, the, the tank on Ponder is... Probably only something you do if you have a spell pierce or a red blast. Post board is probably red blast. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be careful of those little timing tells. Like a savvy opponent will uh, will pick up on them. Maybe most po opponents won't. I'm a little surprised to see Mountain in this uh, miracles list. What do you think about that? Uh, it's very popular in the more Lissette style ver versions of Miracles. So like ones that play 23 lands or so? Ones that play 22 or 23 lands. Less ponders. Um, if you're playing things like um, multiple Caracas or multiple Cavern of Souls, which is being played in Lissette's build, you don't have the room for that many volcanic islands, so you need to play the basic mountain. Hold on, that doesn't make any sense to me. If you're playing Cavern of Souls, you have fewer blue sources, which yes. means that you sh you can't play Volcanic, I would think. Or sorry, you can't play... Uh, Basic Mountain? You would think yeah. so. Yeah. That's why I don't like the mana base in that deck. Well, fair enough. I like what Sam did here. So Brainstorm is by far the best card in the Miracles deck. You have so many clunky cards that you want to be out of your hand and on top of your library. I really like Red Blast here. It also buys them time. So if you know, you're just trying to get out of your Brainstorm lock... You want to uh, you want to prevent slow down your opponent, prevent him from playing spells. You only have one red source, so you can't play a bunch of red sources, uh, red spells. And I think he would have had to discard if he didn't 
play a spell there. So, like, those are three reasons that you should Red Blast. <clears throat> there's a Cavern of Souls. I'm guessing there's two Cavern of Souls and two Krakus in this deck. Plus a mountain. Plus a mountain. Plus two planes. Yes. How does he I'm, expect to cast Counterbalance? Uh, I, he has a Tundra there and another Fetch Land. He's fine. Great. So if your opponent doesn't play Wasteland, you yeah. can play spells. Yep. And if your opponent doesn't, you can't. Yeah. Exactly. Now this... Uh, does he have a second Red Blast? He has a counter spell. Which is going to get Red Blasted. Yeah. No, it might not be. Because he tapped um, Mountain and Volcanic. So oh, I'm, you're saying he doesn't have another I Red Source? I don't think he has another Red Source in the deck. Yep. Should it, that should be... Okay. Yep. Jace is bad, but it's not the worst thing in the world post-board. You have ways to deal with it I, uh, with one card. I also don't think you can tap both your Red Sources when you have Pyroblast in hand. Yeah, uh, that's that's probably a misplay yeah. on PJ's part. Yeah. Hey, John, can you tell him to get that big dice? Yeah, it looks like Sam Sam's ponder bricked on lands. Sam kept that ponder, right? Without uh, any extra lands? Yeah. <coughs> well, he had, a, he had a land in hand at the time. Plus was Brainstorm, a, plus was a AK. Fetch, which uh, was a fetch, too. Sure. Yeah, so Brainstorm, AK... It's pretty reasonable to, to keep that ponder and yeah. not shuffle to look for more lands. I, I, you got a bit unlucky. I think he drew a card and then fetched. Okay. He drew a ponder, drew for turn, fetched, um, and then brainstormed. Okay. I think is what he did. Well, that's a land. That's a land. That's now, do you think you play Mentor here? Or uh, you could Snapcast a Red Blast. I like Snapcast a Red Blast. Okay. Um... Yeah, you're behind on board. You don't want to get further behind. Yeah. Yeah, Sam sees the play, too. And I definitely like main phase. Uh, you know, Miracles plays Counterspell. It could hard cast Force Will at this point. What do you think about leaving Force Will in in this matchup? You have to leave Force Will. Really? Seems like it could be kind of a card advantage matchup. You still have cards you that are very important to fight over. Like what? Jace? Uh, like Jace, like... Well, I, I mean, I guess I'm comparing it to, like, the Miracle's Mirror, where yeah. you have important threats to fight over, like Counterbalance and Jace and Entreat the Angels or Mentor. Yeah, I'm just not sure those there are as big uh, threats that you care about. It may be in your deck, so maybe trimming some forces would be fine. Yeah. But again, he probably doesn't know what you could to expect from your list. You could be running Counterbalance out of the board or main. You're playing Mentor. You... In theory, you could be playing tops along with it. That's right. And then if you're not playing tops, or you're playing tops, you might as well be playing counterbalance. I could see that. Okay. So we could think of this as like a pseudo mirror. Uh huh. In which case, you'd want to keep your forces in. That makes sense. Now, do you think you uh, you red blast the snapcaster just so that it doesn't attack Jace? Um. You don't care that much. I. Jace going to one probably doesn't make a big difference. Yeah, I think you can wait a turn at least. Oh, and he drew a land, so uh, Sam can play Red Blast, but it'll he'll run it right into. Um, sorry, Sam can play Jace, but he'll run it right into Red Blast. I definitely like attacking here first. Maybe PJ will Red Blast this. Uh, it sounds like he's Red Blast. Oh here. wow! And then he gets to resolve Jace. So we have pretty much an even board. Sam has a pile of cards in hand. Both players have. Jace on board. Slam Jace. Like, you just got to slam Jace. And given that Sam has a uh, mentor in hand, I think that he's favored. What about? What do you think? Uh, it, yeah, I think so. It depends on. I forget what's in PJ's hand. PJ has, I think, a top, and like uh, some lands. I think maybe a couple red blasts. I don't know. He has a red blast and swords. Okay, so. He has Red Blast? He has Red Blast. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So we're going to get a Brainstorm off of this. I would expect Brainstorm for sure. You have to Brainstorm. Yeah. Like, Miracles doesn't play Lightning Bolt. Nope, that's wrong. Yeah. Well, unfortunate. You just want to get as many cards in your hand. Like, you're worried about Blast. Yeah, especially if Sam still has Force Will in his deck. That's pretty much the card you want to draw. Yeah. Oh, boy. Wow, that's... That's a stacked top. Yeah, this might be tough. Uh, he's going to have to get Mentor on board, uh, plus... What was that, double counterbalance? Yeah, plus... Um, 
plus probably EE for counterbalance is where he's going to start here. But I guess Sam does have wear tear, so yeah, he has wear tear and engineered explosives. Yeah. Now, if you're Sam, do you think you play the second counterbalance? Are you PJ? Sorry, if you're PJ. No, I don't like tapping out here, and I think... You have to respect the E. What did he put back? Just Jace and Animals? Yeah, I'm not really sure. Why does he only have one card in hand? Yeah, I don't know if I like this. Nope, this seems... You might as... Oh, he... No, he wants to bait him into tapping top but to kill it. Oh, okay. I didn't see any threes on top, so if he taps out for this, he's in a good position. But I really don't like throwing spells into counterbalance, given that you have a uh, mentor in hand. Don't do it! Tap the other one! Tap three! There you go. I just... I don't like this. Right, because Jace on board means that you can just unsummon. <laughs> yeah, this is just snap and summon. Yeah. And that's a little greedy as well. No, I mean... So Zero doesn't do anything, right? It makes a token, which is what he wants. It makes unsummon bad. In theory. Oh, but that's just getting... Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that he wanted to sequence... Um, mentor first if he were going to play the brainstorm. Yeah. And if he, and if he does play brainstorm, he wants to just kill counterbalance. Well, I think he wanted to f try to fuse wear tear there if possible. I agree. But yeah. Yeah. Now that EE -E isn't doing much, and he actually needs it pretty badly to kill the second counterbalance. Yeah. They're just three color, right? No. That's right. I cut the fourth color. Okay. Oh, and he has a third Jace? Yeah. Man, this is going to be a tough matchup, or a tough game. So what are Sam's best top decks? I also don't like this. Oh, there's a Terminus, so it doesn't matter. You wanted to unsummon this Jace? Yeah. Yeah, no reason to be greedy here. I mean, I guess he has another Jace, so it doesn't matter. But I also don't like him holding Terminus there. Yeah, I don't really see the point of that. Well, the point of that is you wanted to float a two and a four, I think. But you're not afraid of four. You're no. not afraid of Jace, are you? You're afraid of two spells killing... Well, I guess you're not afraid of two spells killing Jace because you just have another Jace. But... I Still not a great place to be. I'd rather just kill a token. If he spends two spells to resolve... Uh, to make Mentor kill Jace. And I think he does have two spells that he can guest. So I know he has the wear tear, and then he also has a Q in knowledge. Oh. So well, we, that's not resolving. Yeah, we we saw the uh, counterbalance on top last turn. I would expect it to still be there. Oh, and now he's a clique. That's a Venser. It's from the Vault Venser. Oh. Okay. That's terrible. Why would someone play that? Huh. This is a tough position for uh, for Sam. Counterbalance good against decks that like to cast spells. Venser bouncing token. I I don't know why he. Is. I don't like any of these lines. He could have bounced. It. Did uh did he just draw two cards? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. He only had terminus in hand, and then he drew for a turn, and then he drew another card for turn. Did he? Did I he? don't know. Well, except he only has three cards now, so that can't be right. Yeah. Oh, no, maybe that is a... No, that you're right. That is Modern Master or is the Dillian Quick. Yeah. I thought that was Venser. All right. <laughs> well... Yeah. I think... I think... Playing a little differently, this Jace could be at, like, eight or... Or six or eight... Yeah, it could be a real threat. Like, you really could be taking up with the, the Jace here. Oh, and now you get to wear tear. Look at that. Right? And you don't have Vendillion Click. Those two. Yeah, you don't have Vendillion Click on top. 
anymore. So this is this is a good way to get out of it. Maybe. He's still it, really far wait, behind. Wait, he's tapping top? He, to Terminus, yeah. Oh, he's Terminus. Uh, right, so Sam gets to get all the value here out of his wear tear, but still probably pretty far behind. I'm guessing they're checking the CMC. Um, every single time Split Card and Counterbalance comes up, everyone always kind of says 99% of the judge calls I have. It was, it was me with Counterbalance flipping Wear Tear or me casting Wear Tear. All right, so Mr. Rules Expert, uh, how does Fused Wear Tear work? So on the stack, it's CMC is three. Okay. So it requires a three on top to counter it. But if. Wear and tear is on top of your deck. It is a one and a two, but not a three when it comes to revealing tournaments. A perfectly intuitive uh, uh, statement. Sure. I see two twos and a six. Well, nice wear tear. So I assume you just leave it back like that and then you uh, reveal terminus. Yeah, he's not in a bad position. Uh, sure, kind of balanced dice, but he has two more on backup. I think they're trying to figure out what happens with top. That top is dead. It, still draw the card. Still draws the card, but it's dead. You could almost say that PJ would prefer this. Yeah, I mean, you don't have a top on top of your library. Yeah, you don't really need a second top anyway. But then you click you. Yeah. Whoa. Lightning Bolt gone. Oh, he's he tapped the red, yeah. Yeah. I guess Not he much had Krakus anyway. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Sam is behind. I don't Do even like taking the light... Do you, do you take the lightning bolt? Or? Sure, it kills two things you care about on board. But, I guess... It doesn't, though, because you know you're drawing counterbalance. Oh, sure. And you have Krakus in play, so it's not even killing the Vanilla Fair point. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe the best way that Sam gets out of this is another engineered explosives? Yeah, I, I like PJ floating that two on top. Uh, yeah. yeah. Looks like Sam might be starting to flood out here. Good of him to not play that Snapcaster Mage. He knows that there's a counterbalance. Oh, no, sorry. He drew that counterbalance that he knows about, but still there's no reason to jam it right now. You can try to overload your opponent at some point. At some point, this Jace needs to start taking out. It certainly should. Although, uh, I, given that you have Cleek on board, you could just keep on brainstorming. Sure. I'm a huge fan of uh, aggressively fate sealing, though. There have been many games where my opponent's deck has been exactly important win con land, important win con land, important win con land, and I've just fate sealed every good card to the bottom of their deck. Nice. Yeah. Uh, that is that is fair. CK is not going to resolve. No. But he did see three accumulated knowledges this game. So oh. that's kind of a combo. Sure. Yeah. That's... Yeah, we see... It's, it's still bad. Still bad. It's not bad. It would have drawn three cards. Um, it would have drawn three cards there. Sure. That's good. But it didn't, so it's still bad. You know, Counterbalance is a pretty good card. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that AK is a bad card. Unfortunately, PJ has this game pretty much hard locked. He's got a two and a three on top. Uh, Snapcaster. Yeah, he's just got everything. Cleek with Caracas. I suppose that Sam could draw a red blast and then play something, but it's not likely. Yeah. Yeah. Sam yeah Sam's done. And he, uh, the other reason why I like aggressively fate sealing here too is now you have Cleek. You should know what. The, in his hand, and you can always crock his cleek again to always have perfect information. That's a good point. Yeah, between Jason, uh, Jason Cleek, you can prevent your opponent from being able to play a sorcery speed good card. Yeah. Forever. Yes. Well. Anyway, 
Yeah, so we saw a couple of cool matches. We saw Storm versus Bug Delver. Uh, Storm took it, and we saw Miracles versus AK Mentor. Uh, unfortunately, Miracles got there. We Dude, see your pet deck is not uh, not doing so hot. Yeah, uh, I was. Look, honestly, I was going to take it apart. I didn't have time, but I knew I wasn't playing today, so yeah, I didn't. Yeah. Sam was just begging for a deck. I had to give him something. Yeah. So, how'd you end up doing with the AK deck last week? Anyway? Uh, poorly. Okay. I did 2-2. Two, two. Okay. So, we've got Sean Cadenese back there. Uh, <laughs> Sean, would you like to step into the booth? I saw you had a cool story that you posted on Facebook. Do you want to talk about that a little bit, or do you think that's too long for a stream? Yeah, you yeah, there's just two minutes. I'll step out. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, guys. This is uh, Sean Cadenese. He's local L4 judge. All-around uh, super nice guy. Sure, I, I I like you too. That's yes. Yeah. Uh, how's your tournament going so far? Uh, good. I wasn't expecting to be on camera until just now, so this is a little bit uh, yeah. you know, not intimidating or anything. I mean, I've only got like five people that are watching, right? So it's yeah, between it's between matches and. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. What are you playing today? Uh, I am playing a uh, well. I'm playing the deck that I believe it was you that came up with the name for the deck. Uh, the the Netherlands. Oh. I didn't. I don't think I got that name, but okay. Yeah, that was. Well, that's whoever a cool it deck. was that came up with the name, I appreciate it because uh, it's probably better thing, better than anything I <laughs> could have come up with. So that's um, a cool looking deck. Remind us what's in there. Uh, so it's got four copies of Nether Void, which is what it, what it gives it the name. Uh, nice. Nether Void is an enchantment that nobody plays with. Um, Unfortunately, if you, if you go search the top eight decks, you'll find that there was a copy played back in. 2002 in some sort of a box build, probably. What a shame. Uh, it's a pretty terrible card. Uh, it's a Enchant World um, mm -hmm. from uh, Legends, and it's like every other Legends card on the reserve list. It's like 150 bucks. Uh, if if and, not more. Right, or more. Uh, well, and my, sole, my sole goal with the deck really is to spike the value of that card so I can retire someday. Um, Hear that, guys, on the stream? Ne Netherroid. Right. Buy it now. <laughs> Free card king. No, I don't I have no idea what they're what, if they have any in stock. Um, it's so it's a enchantment with a triggered ability that says when anyone casts a spell, uh, you counter it unless they pay three mana. Mm -hmm. So it uh, locks down things in a terrible prison that's basically horrible to play. Anything it, it makes it and people don't want to play magic and have fun, right? So, but I'm sure you're having a lot of fun, right? It's a blast, ah, uh, and it's a lands, it's a lands deck that sort of jams that in there. Um, and then it has, like, I think uh, this time I'm running with Dexing Shushers. Okay. So that you're able to keep it from countering your stuff. <laughs> that is an awesome combo. Yeah, Nether Void is super weird rule sex, right? Yeah. It says counter it unless they pay three. It's, it's a, a triggered, it's a triggered ability. ability. Yes. So, like, Very so odd. like your Abrupt Decays get through the Nether Void. Uh, your Vexing Man. Shushers get through the Nether Void. For a while I was playing it with uh, Cavern of Souls naming Shaman so that you could cast, like, Tassigur as a Shaman. Wow. Um, okay. And all sorts of, like, ex like we're really going deep on. Um, that sounds really cool. Yeah. So, uh, but these days it's like uh, Dragon Lord Jamoka, okay, um, and other. Ah, things he like, can't be countered. Right. Um, or uh, Thrun the Last Troll. Those are always fun. So it's it's a lands deck, and then it has this other thing attached to it. Would you describe it as a troll deck? I, I mean, it, it is not meant for the other person to have fun. I, it does have troll in it. It has it has a troll, <laughs> a troll. Usually in the sideboard, you get it with Living Wish. Sure. Uh, that's the other thing. That, nice. So lands decks, you know, they're using gamble and red mana and punishing fire to. You, you know, don't want any of that. Do things efficiently and do things as fast as they can. And I prefer the more language speed of you know Living Wish and sorceries and sure. you know it's it's a method game and, right. and I'm an old person so I don't really I don't really this is a gentleman's game we're playing legacy yeah no, it's, it's very much I mean we don't play this because we want to be good at magic we want to play this because we want to you know have three thousand dollars in our in our hand and be able to say look I'm enjoying the most of my in investment <laughs> hey I'm on board there I was playing that uh, accumulated knowledge mentor deck Right. Also, it's quite bad. Yes, I, I saw on the stream that uh, your compatriots over at the actual Card Kingdom account were saying, I think it was, uh, that uh, real pe people don't play accumulated knowledge, but Greg Mitchell does. I think that was the line. So implication being I'm not a person? I, oh, that was the that's implication. Cold. That was, uh, it's, it's a little bit harsh. Yeah. I think so, I might survive, though. Sure. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm one and one with my deck tonight, and I will uh, probably continue the the average, you know, win one, lose one more, and then go home sad, but that's fine. Okay. Because I'm happy to, happy to do that. Well, cool. Well, thanks for stepping on. It's my pleasure. I'm always happy to, especially impromptu. Uh, pairings just went yeah, on. Yeah, good so, luck. Thanks.